Hi everyone. Get there. Say hi. Say hi, Miracle. Wait for a couple people, huh, Miracle? Oh, sweet girl. Hi, this is Patty with Dallas Dogger. We are at the Frisco ER um, with Marigold. She was rescued today from the Fort Worth shelter. Um, she was an owner surrender, which many of you asked um, if she, cruelty charges would be filed. Um, I will know more tomorrow when I reach out to the shelter. Um, but um, <clears throat> as far as um, charges, it it gets tricky because she was an owner surrender, owner surrender, and um, they said they had a traveling vet come and treat her. So as long as they can provide medical records that they treated her. With an owner surrender, they usually get charged with failure to provide vet care um, and vaccines and things like that. So um, if they can provide those records, no charges probably will be filed. So unfortunately, um, on this case, if sh they can prove the records that they've been having or seen by a vet, which I know that leaves for interpretation, hi big girl, um, that sh there's not much they can do. So at this point, the focus is on Marigold and getting her better. She um, she is probably about a two out of nine body weight. Her skin is super inflamed and infected. I don't know if you can see it. Earlier she was scratching and chunks of hair were falling out. Her paws are swollen from infection. Um, she has sores. Let's see, I don't know if you can, it's really hard to see, I don't know. Um, she has sores there and um, along her other side. Um, she's super sweet. She's a little scared. That's why I'm kind of staying outside her kennel right now and we're just kind of bonding. She um, she was a little bit panicked and um, nervous, but I mean, rightfully so. She was taken from her family today, put in a shelter barking dogs, picked and prodded, then drove an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half in rush hour traffic, and then came to another vet to be picked and prodded. So she was a little bit scared and a little bit feisty when she first got here. So I'm um, just giving her some personal space um, and kind of um, allowing her that time to decompress and feel better. They just started running blood work, so we're waiting on that. Um, they're getting her antibiotics and everything ready um, and her IV catheter. Uh, she is as you can see super swollen um i know see girl her hair is just falling out in clumps for the most part she's bald um skin and bones and she's so cute her ears her ears are adorable so um this is sweet marigold she was rescued today um you can see she's in pretty rough shape i mean most of her body has no hair on it at all. No, it's kind of sad. She's just super, super tired. But she was an owner surrender. They um, they stated that they had a traveling vet come to treat her. They did injections, antibiotic, and um, and I don't really have any more information than that right now. We will do a little follow up. Um, don't worry. We will get all the answers tomorrow, but this is coming from that same area in Fort Worth, so she is beautiful. She will get better with time, so, I mean, look at Perkins already. He has hair. Um, I don't know with this one. Um, it sounds like they tried. I'm not, I really don't have an answer unless there's something besides just mange going on here. Um, the fact that she's that skinny, they said there was food and fresh water when they picked her up today. Um, she had a, a bed, which I'm, I'm, I don't know. She has ulcers on her hips, so I don't really know. Um, I don't know the exact location. Um, Caitlin, uh, I do know that she was from the Fort Worth shelter, so um, I'm sure I can ask what area, but we don't have 
that specific. Um, she's super, um, super dark, which might be her skin color, but as you can see, she has several areas that are infected. She keeps chewing at them. Um, they're going to get an e collar on her, I believe, and um, get her cleaned up and get the IV fluids and get some antibiotics. So um, I just wanted to kind of update you. We'll post an update as well. So in case anybody misses the video, we will, as soon as I get the blood work and everything. Um, Admiral, if you're following his story, was released today um, uh, to the foster. He, um, he will be on antibiotics. Um, he has to get hydrotherapy and, um, and will maintain on antibiotics. So, um, and hopefully he'll head north soon. Um, so, Mickle, come on, baby. She's so cute. I ain't no sweet girl. Hi. Hi, baby. It's kind of miserable right now. I don't know if you can see, like, up here how really, like, her hair is. Hold on. I'm stuck on my butt. Hang on. Like, she's. And I don't know if many of you heard earlier, the reason I'm outside her run is earlier after the long transport, the shelter, um, she was a little bit feisty. So I'm just giving her some time to kind of, I'm sure she's sore and everything that goes with it. So um, we're just kind of giving her that time to decompress, feel better, get her on some antibiotics. She'll stay here probably for a couple days to um, just because she is so tender and sore, I don't want to be carting her back and forth. So, um, she, yeah, she's been licking and biting her scabs off. Her hair's been falling off in chunks. Um, just in the few minutes that I've been sitting here, her legs, I don't know if you can see how swollen they are. They're so super inflamed and infected. Um, I know, baby. Girl, you can kind of see her. But she, um, she has very, I mean, that's the one thing I keep noticing is how swollen. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. I'm going to get you closer and closer. She is working her way slowly to me, just not a ton slowly to me. Um, uh, she's slowly warming up, but her legs are super swollen. Her, her body is super inflamed. Um, the doctor said her condition is two out of nine, so I mean, she's a pretty, I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's hard to tell, but so basically, let me just go back, so you can kind of see, she's a big dog. Um, oh, Patty, right? Yep, 